<sighs> hey y'all happy new year future black life coaches if you are new here welcome i'm dr aj austin founder of the international center for life coach training llc where i train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day not just certified life coaches but we certify christian life coaches okay so today i am lounging in my backyard sunbathing something when i opened the back door just caught no when i peeked out the back door the sun just called to me so i had to answer <laughs> so i came to sit by my little fire pit in my little lawn chair and just listen to the wind and the sounds and feel the sun happy new year how are you say hello when you come in hello coach michelle i am really taking a break because we are planning our first event taking place on saturday january 29th it's called the future black life coach three-day challenge we have a private facebook group for it it is being upgraded and updated and gonna be so much fun so save the date saturday january 29th we are hanging out if you want more details you can comment below i'm happy to share the link um there won't be a waiting list you can just jump right into rsvp your spot because it will be limited to 20 people but we are coming together to talk about how to become a professionally trained skilled certified christian life coach again this is for black women of faith now if you are new around here that too is in my tribe but if you've been here for a minute you're probably already one of our coaches or you've been considering it i'm happy to still be connected with you as i sit here with what i call my grandma dress my grandmother had a dress just like this that she would lounge around the house in <laughs> good thing my backyard is semi-private so not too many people seeing me <laughs> in my old lady dr aj ness so I wanted to jump on and say hello, say Happy New Year. I hope your night was peaceful. Um, mine was very anxiety-inducing. I don't know what neighbor lost their mind, but child, I couldn't tell if it was a bomb or just, oh my gosh, it was horrible. So I see what pets go through on holidays. I'm so sorry, little doggies. If y'all feel how I felt last night, I had to sleep with headphones in and some meditation music <laughs> to get me through the night but what i am thankful for is that they stopped right at like 10 minutes after 12. like i guess they got their fix but it started at like 6 p.m so because this is my first new year in my new home i now got a feel for what may happen around fourth of july so i can prep myself i got some months before that and next new year child so i'm, I'm really praying that our uh I'll either have new neighbors that don't pop fireworks or that the old neighbors can't find none to pop because Jesus, they wasn't considering nobody. And I said, Lord, bless us all. Happy New Year, Robin. How are you? Are you a coach? You trying to become a coach? I'm jumping on to say Happy New Year to our future Black Life coaches. Those of you who just are like, this is my year, Dr. AJ. This is the year that I say yes to the call that God has in my heart. I've been here writing your story. God gave me some downloads when I was on the call with my coach the other day, just about why I do what I do and why I'm so passionate about it. And I just imagine this little girl in the hood and she knows that there's a way out. She knows that she doesn't have to settle for what she's surrounded by, you know, poverty and government assistance, being a baby mama, dropping out of school, drugs, violence. Oh, but she's just wishing for that one way. And then as she goes through life, beating the odds, like they say, when the student is ready, the teacher appears, the opportunity to help others change their life because she knew that as she helped others, her life would also change. That's the story of my life. What about y'all? Because that's when life coaching came into my life and helped change my life. Oh my gosh. And this last nine years i'm almost nine years <laughs> as a certified life coach a black certified life coach um been certifying coaches for six and when i say omg y'all see that sun on 
on that melanin. Yeah. Sunbathing, honey. Didn't even know this is what I wanted. It feels so good out here. So, so good. So I just imagine what got me here and why I really show up with such peace and joy and flow and happiness and abundance and prosperity and ease and love and covering and blessings and favor and i speak all of that on your life in the new year as well hey coach helen let me make y'all's comments bigger because the sun is shining on my screen and i can't say it yeah you know. so yeah story of your life because you know you're meant for more and you know if you're like me, we made that promise to God long ago. Lord, if you just help me, I swear to you, <laughs> I will help other people. So many of our coaches, hi, Coach Sonia, are here. Some of you guys will watch the replay. Um, we did Coffee with Coaches yesterday, which, are, which is our year-end events. I think this is year two. And we set some big goals for this year. We talked money-making, ministry, marketplace, marketing, um, and just to see the vision that God has placed in so many of your hearts, including mine, it's just like, why not get started on the first day of this new year? I hear the planes. I don't know if y'all can see that. You see that plane? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but this is my backyard. I'm literally in the backyard of the biggest airport in the world. Hartsville Jackson. So if y'all ever fly through my city of Atlanta, Georgia, just wave. I promise I can see y'all from my backyard. Okay. Tell the plane, the, the pilot to just toot the horn and I know it's you. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sitting back here basking and giving my brain a break. Um, today I just woke up just like feeling the joy of the Lord, which is our strength, right? And not only are we just celebrating a new year, but there's so many exciting things on the horizon. So you got to get in front of it. So I started planning our event of the month, which is taking place on Saturday, January 29th. Um, I have not set the time yet, but if you want more information, tag me in the comments. I'll send you the link to come join us. Um, there's no waiting list. You can dive right in, but it's for those who know that you're a future Black Life coach. Those who are like me and Coach Helen, who is in one of our coaches, um, we just know that we're called for more. Um, we know that God has tugged on our hearts to do more for ourselves, our people, to be the example. Okay, now y'all probably hear the horn of the train. There are two trains that pass through here. One is the regular train and one is our uh, transit for the city. So I'm surrounded by planes, trains, and automobiles and sit in the house all day. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. <laughs> I love my city. So I'm one of those that really enjoy the noise of the city as I sleep and go throughout my day. It just makes me feel like other people in the world are up. I can be too. Let's go to work. So that's my motivation. What about y'all? Any dreams and goals of what your future as a Black Life Coach will be in this new year? Anything we should be celebrating with you about? Are you going to join us becoming a certified coach this year? Because that is what majority, especially for this first quarter of the new year, majority of our events are going to be centered around future black life coaches. And you're considered a future black life coach if you haven't been certified yet, but you've been looking into it because you know God has put that call on your heart. But also, if you've been through a training, but you know you ain't dealing with that information, just saying <laughs> so it's time to pick up that knowledge again it's time to polish that skill set because y'all know I always tell y'all someone somewhere is waiting on you right I don't just say that for my health okay it's true it's what somebody told me and I gotta pass that message on to you you need to hear it this year right somebody is waiting on you So, Coach Helen says it's cold in Michigan. Oh, we thought it would be cold here. My people from the north are complaining because of this didn't feel like Christmas <laughs> weather-wise here in Georgia. I'm like, I don't recall the last time it really felt like Christmas here as far as snow on the ground or <laughs> bundled up. Today, you could get away with shorts. Like, I am literally, y'all probably hear it in the phone, but... 
the breeze is breezing the sun is sunning and it's a beautiful day out here so when i peeked through the little screen and i saw that sun right on the little back stoop i was like i think i should sit outside and then i tried to do some work but it was just too distracting just because when i look up i see the clouds moving let me show y'all what i see y'all see that ain't no leaves on the trees but honey them clouds they can be hypnotized but y'all see the clouds moving just a moving and it is mesmerizing to just sit and watch the clouds go but i can't get no work done like this i can't i cannot <laughs> so that's uh what i'm doing with a little break here i'm gonna get hungry in a minute so i'm gonna go back in the house <laughs> good part is i already cooked what i'm gonna eat which was some chili some vegetarian chili i found a new recipe that uh, called for cocoa. Have y'all ever had cocoa and chili? You probably have and didn't even know it. Um, I'm always trying something new to be a chef. I'm my own chef for the moment, okay? We'll bring somebody on staff here real soon. Just say it. But I uh, found a new chili recipe that said cocoa and I put it in there. You cannot tell it's in there, um, but it came out really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a bowl of that. Even though it's not cold here, I'm still eating chili and had a smoothie this morning. I've been craving salads. So soup, salads, and smoothies are my thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy that today. Um, but yeah, just learning what I like, you know, and which is good because most of the time we like, I don't know what I wanna eat today, especially vegans and vegetarians. We are so picky and hard to cook for and it's hard to find good food. So sometimes I have no choice but to cook the house, which I don't mind because that means I don't have to leave the house because I'm also an introvert, which you probably did not know about me. But yes, me, even if you don't believe it or agree, I'm an introvert. Okay, so <laughs> that's all I got for you guys just to tell you to save the date for Saturday, January 29th, 2022. Can y'all believe we're saying that year already? 2022 yes she is finally here and so i really believe that we have the opportunity to make this our year if we set our intentions from the beginning so that's why i'm in here planning for you to come join and hang out with me and all of my events this year are intended to be for future black life coaches even if you've been certified before and you need a refresher i saw we had a life breakthrough coach on here so if you're not where you want to be in your coaching company, you don't have clients, you don't have packages, you don't know what to charge, you don't have coaching programs, you don't have a steady roster or flow of people that's coming to hang out with you, you need to be in one of my pop-up trainings that I'm doing this quarter. The first one is on Saturday, June, or Saturday, June, Saturday, January 29th, 2022. Um, if you want more information, tag me in the comments below, or you can send me a quick inbox uh, here on Facebook. If you are watching this video anywhere outside of Facebook, child, you need to find me probably by email, aj at thebossof.me. Again, aj at thebossof.me is the best way to find me. Some kind of way y'all do find me. Y'all find my number to the office. Y'all find my email. You find my LinkedIn. And of course you find me here on Facebook. So, and many of you watch me on YouTube. You listen to the podcast. Y'all are loved too. So if you want event information, I didn't share the link link on this yet because it ain't up because I'm still planning. But if you want to come hang out with us to find out what it is like to come train with me for a day and get certified and be added to our roster of almost 200 black women certified Christian life coaches around the world. Make sure you get your notifications on so you know when I'm live because I'm coming for you. Make sure that um, you tag me to let me know you want more information about this training. And don't just get more information, just to get more information, child. This will be the link for you to sign up, pay the money, and be ready to go on the 29th, okay? We ain't doing all that, you know. Send me the website. Give me the link for more information. I'm going to think about it, honey. You've been thinking, okay? This is your sign, 1122. Backyard with your boo giving you the information oh <laughs> y'all didn't know i had bars reverend christina looking forward to connecting with you in 2022 have a wonderful 
Yes. And the best part about this, y'all, is we got 365 more of these days. Y'all ready? Because they coming whether you're ready or not, hunty. And it's also time to stop lurking. You spent all last year, probably the year before that and the year before that, watching lives and jumping on people's YouTubes and on their email list, downloading their free stuff or thinking about it or getting more information or praying about Okay, I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, so this is for people who are ready. I'm talking to people who are ready this year. God has already started the pruning process, the weeding out process, the sifting process from the information gatherers, the people who need to think about it, talk to their spouse, go run a lap, drive around the city, take a vacation, remodel their kitchen, get a new job, wait on a settlement. All the things that I've heard about why people do not sign up for life coaching, uh, this ain't the year for that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We two years in now, certifying coaches online in our self-study course. We had 39 ladies join us last year, 29 the year before, and then before that, child, it was 110, because um, I did it live. Y'all love live, so we can get back live. So over the last six years of me certifying and training coaches, I have worked with almost 200 black folks, <laughs> Christians, reverends, and deacons, and pastors, and first ladies, and ministers, and prophets, and prophetesses, and did I say bishops? All the church titles. And then you got your mamas and your sisters and your cousins and your best friends and all. They have all trained with me, okay? The most unique has been a playwright, which will be the, our next Tyler Perry here. And uh, a Uber driver, two Uber drivers. Wait a minute, it was an Uber driver and a Lyft driver, which I thought was so cool. But when the Lyft driver made her first $5,000, by doing what I teach coaches to do. Child, you couldn't tell her nothing. She was like, you need to make a training for how you help me do this, and I did. It's called Prophetic Manifestations, and it comes free with our newly updated 22, uh, 2022 version of our One Day Life Coach Certification Training for Black women, Christian women. And it's thrown in there to show y'all how to go get this money. Because it's out there if you want it, but you got to set the intention. Our intention set. Let me see some comments. So y'all just looking at me bathing the sun in all my moisturized skin glory. Because we moisturized today. And I did my hair for y'all. So only thing missing is my, my dangly earrings. But we got our little study rings in, which I love because they keep my, my little earring uh, piercing holes open. So yeah, we got us a little black onyx and little golds. Mm -hmm. Skin pop, and I'm just saying, our intentions set. Hopefully so, because that's all I got for you. Hope you will tag me below, send me a message, send me an email. And until we meet again, my friends, remember, there is someone somewhere. They are waiting on you, future black life coach, to walk in your destiny. So they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. I am Dr. AJ Austin. I'm glad my neighbor is a woman as well because she ain't one of them. Why is this old young lady sitting out here in her house dress? <laughs> Bathe them in the sun. I'm going to go continue to do that. Grab me a cup of chili. And I'll see y'all soon. Happy New Year, Future Black Life Coaches. Bye, y'all.